Greetings everyone and welcome to another Jarison Time informational video. In the following video, we'll be taking a look at setting an employee for JT Clock use. Once we're in the software, we need to navigate to the icon bar and click on the employee details icon. Then we will select the JT Clock tab. Next, we will check the option use JT Clock myself to activate it on the employee's profile. After that, we can apply JT Clock settings like photo requirements and GPS location by selecting an appropriate entry from the drop down list. Once we select an option, the settings for that entry will be displayed. We will then click on the save button. Then let's take a look at area. Areas are designated ranges of coordinates which are permitted as clocking areas when using JT Clock. This feature is used when a particular employee is meant to clock in a specific area. And if they are not, then we will leave it on not defined. If the employee should be using areas, we will need to allocate an area by double clicking on the current area and in the new window, selecting an area from the drop down list and then click on the done button. If the area that the employee needs to clock in changes, we leave the current area as is and add another one by clicking the add button, selecting a date, then selecting an area from the drop down list and click done. This will ensure that the old clocking data stays unchanged and the new clocking data will be using the new area, followed by clicking on the save button again. Now let's take a look at the activation code displayed in green. This is the code that the employee needs to enter into their app. Note that this code must be entered with the dash. We can email the code to the employee or copy it to the clipboard. Both of these options will include the activation code as well as instructions on how to activate the app. Once the mobile device is registered, we can use the refresh status button to poll the device for basic information. If the employee changes their device, we use the replace device button to deregister the old device and replace it with a new device. And if the employee no longer needs JT clock, then we can use the deactivate device button. Now that we are done, we can click on the close button and go on working with Jarrison time. That will be all for the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.